Welcome builders and it is Jordi here and welcome to another 5x5 Minecraft building special. This could be done on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, Java, tablet, phone, on your feet. I don't care where you play Minecraft. This can be built. It is a defensive bridge. Now this bridge could lead in not just over a river but over maybe a lake or an expansive water towards your settlement, towards your village, your castle. You want a bridge, but you want your bridge to be properly defended. In other words, there's a massive structure right in the middle of this bridge, which you'd have to get through to get to the other side. So inside, again, I haven't furnished it, but you can see there's plenty of room inside for little defensive battlements on the inside, some living accommodation for the bridge keeper upstairs, and there's even room for an attic with some balconies looking over. Plenty of spots to have lots of defenses, whether that be arrows or in your head, it could be boiling oil poured down through the murder holes, which we'll include to make this a fine defensive structure. Okay, let's get this built. My name is Andy. I love to build on Minecraft. Welcome to this channel. If you've only just joined it, welcome, welcome, welcome to my recent subscribers. Right, look at the blocks we're going to need. Some dark oak, some polished Andy Zero site, some chiseled stone bricks and some stairs, stone brick stairs. Okay. So what's the 5x5 five five Minecraft building system? You build in these little 5x5 five five square grids. And you can see this is 4 high and 5 wide. And it's polished and is your sight. But the corners I've made into chiseled stone blocks. Upper slabs of dark oak or the choice of wood uh, that you like. And then some upside down stone brick stairs complete this little section. So this little section here, this is what's going to be the bridge It's also going to form the basis of our fortified section right in the middle. Okay, so what you need to do is decide where to build them. Now, excuse me for cleaning out the water here just to make it nice and clear on the video. Okay, so on your grass, the same level as your water, come up by two blocks of polished Andes Yodasite, and that's where we're going to start making our little 5x5 five five section with our chiseled stone bricks in the corner. You will have to start to go down into the bank here, the river bank or sea bank, whatever side of water you've got. So that's one section there. And don't forget your little upside down stone brick stairs as well. Now, uh, extending left in the picture as you look at it, you would extend that. You can see in the background into your landscape. But I'm going to concentrate on the middle bit on the bridge just now. And you want to expand this and do as many of these little sections as you require of course don't forget the the legs they've got to dig down into the water and of course if you aren't able to clear the water like i am you're going to be diving down and placing these polished and these sites underneath the water okay so decide where you want your main defensive structure to be and you want to come out here with an extra couple of these five by five sections on that side and an extra couple on the other side like that. You'll see me whack them down very, very quickly. It looks like magic. I'm using a, a special plugin that's available for Java Edition Minecraft on the server I'm, uh, I was building this on. Okay, so I've put the water back. I'm going to go for these sections here. This starts to mark out the bridge. So put these in exactly the same positions that I have done, polished and the site above the chisel stone bricks. Wall, why not use wall? Wall is good. I mean, wall is wall has got a job. Wall is wall. <laughs> wall is wall, and is Yoda 2K18. Um, add some torches. I've put some torches on top of uh, wooden fences, oak wood fences, every second block. And then the blocks in between, I've put some simple, or uh, I was gonna say orange, but iron trap doors. I don't know where orange came from. That sneaky little visitor there. Who sees the visitor? Anyone see that little guy? He came to visit me when I was building. Anyway, you want to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm just going to copy and paste this just for quickness for the video. But if we slow down, have a little spin round here, you can see exactly what we've achieved. You might come up with better wall designs. You might even come up with an easier design or a better design for the fortified section. But that's what this channel is all about. It's all about inspiring you to build in Minecraft. So hit that subscribe button and join the Jedi army. 
because we would like to share all our ideas, get me to build them. And if you've got any good ideas, send them in to me on Instagram or Twitter or email, and I will maybe build them, you never know. What we want to build here is a community of ideas. That's what I want to make, a community of ideas, and hopefully you guys can join me on that journey. So if you're looking for inspiration in Minecraft, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to tap the bell for notifications. Hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just extending this five by five andesite grid, and it goes out to these little um, entranceways or balconies right there. So you've got kind of a, a square shape, a square grid or cross shape. Iron bars on the gateways. And simple upper slabs. Could be oak, dark oak, spruce, whatever you want. I've gone for dark oak. I was actually designing this on a live stream in Twitch and someone suggested dark oak, so we went with that. So you can follow me on Twitch as well. If you like Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Andy is your Fill in all these bits with cobblestone. And on the inside, we're doing cobblestone as well. And you probably can't see that. So what we'll do is just pause and take the camera right inside. You can see I've made a doorway and a full block wall, just simply of cobblestone on the inside. All right, moving in, you can see I've left little gaps for windows. And I'm actually going to put on some trap doors. We're going to zoom into Yoda's head here, go inside. I'm going to put some levers down, which make the trap doors go upright as well. Look at that. I love that little bit of detail. It's not something I do very, very often. Okay, iron bars on that level make it nice and defensive. And then above that, I'm going to go for a correct the way uh, upside down cobblestone stair. That just adds a tiny smidgen of detail above the iron bar windows. Good, good, good. Progress is being made. Okay, now we're going to work on the upper floor. And this is the question of bringing four blocks. Oh, those two are wrong. Those two on the balcony are wrong. Don't do any on the balcony. You see, I don't do any on the other balcony. And you're right, I've missed one out in the middle. So excuse me <laughs> for two mistakes there. We don't want any of these four block uprights uh, on the balconies. And I've missed one out in the middle, which I'll go back and get later on. Using white concrete here, a door on the balcony and windows on the rest of the place. You could use wool, you could use um, any sort of white block you want, or a mixture of block, whatever you've got a lot of in your inventory. So this is the upper floor, probably for the uh, living accommodation for the bridge defender. Could be a little garrison, a little army. I put in some s simple panes of glass into those gaps. Another door at the other side to lead on to the back balcony or the front balcony, depends where you're coming from. And you can add in a door as well. And then we're just going to complete this five by five grid. There's the one I forgot. And again, I've missed out a section, never mind. Okay, so I'm just going to speed the video up to do exactly what I've done on the other side on this side. So cobblestone, got our trap doors, got our iron bars, got the white concrete going in as well. And you can add in some flooring as well. And I'll take away those extra blocks, which were a mistake, a mistake at the maker. Cool, so we're just gonna uh, pan the camera around nice and slowly and let you have a good look and catch up if you need to. Yep, good, long, lazy look. Everything should become clear with this nice view that you're getting. Okay, that's probably just about enough of that. Let's move on to another section of this build. So grab yourself some Thrapidorus Maximus spruce wood slabs, cobblestone slabs, cobblestone stairs and spruce stairs. It is roofing time. Let's swing this camera around. There's a key block coming up here. That's a key block to mark in the start of the roof. Swing the cobblestone stairs around like that. And then we're just going to go up in our normal stairy roof fashion. 
upside down, correct the way up, upside down, correct the way up, until you get to the middle. The middle will be opposite or above the door. One more, please, Yoda. And then an upside down. Correct the way up, facing out the way, and then upside down, and that cr creates a little twiddly bit on top of the roof. Same on the other side. And then what we we'll want to do is put in spruce wood just to form quite a plain roof, but we'll put some detail into it later on. A little line of cobblestones, cobblestone slabs, and we can fill in the interior here with upside down oak wood stairs. I'll just swing the camera around. I think actually that, that very last layer, that top layer of oak wood, I'm actually gonna remove that, I think, when we roll the cameras again. And it just doesn't look quite good if you, f yeah, that, that one's in the middle, you see, at the very top, so we'll remove that. Make yourself a little interior frame. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how to do this. I'm sure you can work it out. Just stick into the four by four, sorry, five by five, four high grid and you get yourself some little attic rafters, is what I would call them, beams to hold up the roof and the attic. So that's half the roof done. Using uh, special commands, I'm gonna just copy and paste in the other half of the roof. There we go. Save a bit of time on the video. And we are all set, nearly finished this build. Okay, grab yourself some stone bricks, polished Andy is Yoda site, some more stone brick stairs, chiseled stone, brick, uh, iron, iron trapdoor, and stone slabs. Phew. It's balcony time. This is a defensive little structure here. I like this bit. Upside down stone brick stairs, wrap them all the way around, apart from the inner corner. And then we're gonna come out here, leaving a gap of one all the way around the build. Bring that back to the balcony and then exactly the same as I did on the other side. Not quite to the end and then the gap of one, which goes all the way around. There we are. Now we're gonna send Yoda on a little journey here. Upper stone slabs all the way around, fill in those little gaps all the way around. We didn't follow them. Just assume it's been done. Now we've got some chiseled stone bricks to place on the balconies in those three positions and then more always opposite the wooden upright. So look at those upper upright wood logs. That's where you want to place some more of these chiseled stone blocks right opposite the wood. And by swinging the camera around again, you get a, an excellent view of exactly where these go. All the gaps all the way around that we've left in between these chisel stone blocks, they need to be filled up with simply stone bricks. So let's do that just now. All the way around. Apart from opposite the windows, where I've put in an upside down stone brick stairs just for a tiny tiny touch of detail right opposite the glass windows there same on the other side assume that has been done now we're on to building up the balcony fill in these gaps here you don't have to fill in those gaps you might not want to add some little crenellations in these positions <clears throat> and in between the crenellations i'm going to go for um you could go for stone slabs I'm going to go for more of these Iron Trapidorus Maximuses. Ferris Trapidorus Maximus. And let's swing the camera over the roof. And of course, you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Add your crenellations in. Add your little iron trapdoors. And let's switch into stone slab mode. You can see exactly where these go. Always above the um, chisel stone blocks and also in the corner. And they go all the way around. Great progress, guys. Very nearly finished. About five minutes left in the video. 
and not much to do. These little trap doors I love because it makes little holes where you could uh, send spears and arrows and things down to attack the people down below who are the... I, I, it's always, I'm assuming it's bad people that are coming across you. I mean, maybe good people will come to your bridge and you'll just be like, hi, how you doing? Long time no see, come across my bridge. Would you like some orange juice? Maybe you'd be really nice to people coming across your bridge. Or you just kill them and throw them into the water. It's entirely up to you. So moving on to uh, last couple of details. Let's grab some oak wood, Trapidorus Maximus, uh, we've got spruce slab, spruce door, oak fence, spruce stairs, and polished andesite. Really, this last section is just a tiny, tiny touch of detail. So I'm coming up here with four bits of polished andesite here. And then making a little spruce balcony. Just before I put a railing around that balcony, I'm gonna fill in the wood here, taking out some stairs and just filling in the wood right there, leaving space for a nice spruce wood door and some little fences around there. Good, good, good. Uh, we're gonna move on to the roof, make it a little bit more interesting. I'm trying to count here how many blocks up on this roof I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. The first block being placed on the cobblestone. That's three, let's go four. We'll come in by one, no, not two, one, thank you. And we're gonna make it burst a little hole through and that's gonna be a teeny tiny little window. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, come in one, burst through. And then spruce wood, lower slab, just above the window there. And this is the kind of cool detail I like. A little, look at that, a little trap door. It looks like it's almost no, not like that, like that. Looks like it's holding up the window. So make sure you do that on both sides. And the attic, little gap here. We can fill this in here with some normal oak planks. And I think the attic looks mighty fine. If you just put in a little stair, not stair, a fence, an oak fence. I was getting excited. That's it, we're finished. What do you think? If you build it, let me know. I'd love to see a picture of your attempt at this on Twitter or Instagram. It's kind of atmospheric. It looks really good at night. Place plenty of torches. Don't let those mobs spawn and enjoy the build. Thank you so, so much for watching. Ciao, ciao. May the blocks be with you. Thank you so much for watching. To keep me making videos on YouTube, I'm looking for a little bit of support on Patreon. Just $1 a month gets you an inspiring newsletter, $3, and you can download just about everything I build every single month. And that download is getting bigger and bigger. And for $5 a month, you could be building with me on live streams.